Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. So you might be wondering why I haven't had a video in the last little while, a few weeks. And because I went back to work for one thing and I've been, to be perfectly honest, there was a whole lot for me to get my mind wrapped around at work. And I was also trying to wrap my mind around things that were going on just in the world in general. And to be honest, it was perfect. It was completely overwhelming. So I just thought I would come on and maybe somebody else needs some encouragement. So here's what happened to me. So just so you know, I work in the service industry and we, uh, we get, I get tips. And so I, the way we get paid is our, we have our base pay, which is an hourly rate. And then we, the government decided that, uh, they figured we would make a certain amount of money every hour. It's called an allocation. And so, um, if, you know, they're saying that we should make, you know, X amount of dollars per hour and because I get tips. Well, when all the COVID thing happened, um, our company closed, um, you know, closed down due to that. And, but they were still paying us, um, our regular, what our regular paycheck would be. Now I'm a tip based position. So they were paying us what our tips would be on top of our hourly pay. And so, which was great. Um, and then when we opened back up and I went back to work, that changed because our, we didn't have enough we don't have enough business coming in to make a whole lot of time. Anyway, long story short, my pay got cut in half. And so, um, it was really, really discouraging. Um, we are debt free other than our home. And so, however, um, we, we put a lot into savings. We, we put a lot into our retirement. We, we don't hardly, we don't do a whole lot of frivolous spending. So how it kind of works in our house is my husband's pay goes for, you know, all of our bills, all of our necessities, all of that kind of stuff. And what mine goes for is savings, retirement, sinking funds, those kinds of things. So we've been used to the last, I don't know, a couple of years, really. Well, mainly the last year of putting a certain amount into our savings, trying to build up our emergency fund. Well, we um, <laughs> had to lessen that because my pay dropped in half. And that was extremely discouraging. And granted, we're not worried about, you know, paying our mortgage or putting food on the table or any of those kinds of things. Um, but we do have these financial goals we were trying to hit. And I found it very disheartening to have to slow those down when we've been making so much progress. And I'm not trying to bitch and moan about it. I'm my point of saying this is that I think maybe a lot of us are in that situation where it's not an extremely dire situation. However, um, it's discouraging. And I think anytime there's something where you think you're really making progress and then all of a sudden the brakes are put on, um, it can make you feel like, well, why am I even bothering? What's the, you know, what's the point of it? And the, the whole point of it is, is that you are making progress in, well, like in my situation right now, I am, we are making progress. Um, it's just slower and that's just for the season of life that we're in and kind of everybody seems to be in this position, you know? Um, and so I think what, well, let me tell you what helped me for one thing, focusing on what my priorities were, um, where I wanted to spend my money, where I wanted to spend time, what I wanted to focus on. And so one of those things for me was like really honing in our budget. I mean, down to the penny, not necessarily down to the penny, but down to the dollar, which for the most part we do anyway, but I had to completely readjust the whole thing. And that's a lot of, um, you know, figuring things out, calling this place, calling that place, 
change it. We changed our car insurance. Some of our, um, and that is a whole thing all in itself. Oh man, changing your car insurance. So anyway, we changed the car insurance and also right about this particular time, our utility bills went down. But right when the COVID thing started happening, um, we had refinanced. We refinanced to a 15-year mortgage. So our <laughs> our my pay went down by half um, just not too long ago. But a few months before that, our um, house payment went up by quite a bit, which would have been fine before. So I wanted to add that <clears throat> every one of us has probably something going on that's challenging right now and to not see you know different uh positions that people are in as greater than or less than the other one we all have a situation right now it seems like um whether it's you know um financial um uh healthy, you know, health wise, uh, spiritual wise, you know, a lot of us are having issues with, uh, depression, anxiety, anxiety is a big one. It's a big one. Um, so I, down in the comments, I would love to hear what kind of things that you've gone through, um, and are maybe still going through We're are my little fan, we're, we're still going through all of this. And the thing that I wanted to stress is that we are going to come out on the other side of this. Uh, one way or another, where we will make it on the other side of what's going on right now. And <clears throat> I'm hoping that we come out with all of our faculties. Oh, man. There's a, a lot of pressure and... A lot of emotions and it's very intense and so I what I what I'm trying to do is with me myself personally is try to kind of channel that intensity into something that's positive because I don't know about you guys but I can get really negative and really you know, go to places in my head that I don't want to go to. And so if, but I've, I found that if I can channel this, you know, channel, um, try to do something that's positive, um, possibly creative. I'm not a very creative person. Um, but I can, as far as like numbers or, um, budget wise or whatever, I can redo my budget 500 times and I am Happy as can be. Now, whenever I have to redo my budget, now that's a little different story because then the, those numbers have some meaning. Not just playing around with numbers, but I actually have to make them make sense. And, you know, anyway, and so whatever, whatever everybody's got going on right now, uh, I would like to know what a, a positive and a negative is that you've been dealing with. And one of the po positives for us is we have kind of been forced to look at all the blessings that we do have. And sometimes you might think that those blessings are pretty small until you start writing them down. And that that's another thing is writing, writing things down that you wouldn't normally think about. Like the fact that you have food, uh, water, shelter, um, a vehicle, your family's health, all of these things. I think we skip over those sometimes. And sometimes we think that blessings are sometimes material. And I think it, at times like this, when everything is kind of thrown up in the air and you're not exactly sure about anything, those things that you are so grateful for are the things that seem to be the most simple. And that is one of the, the blessings that's come out of this for us. Absolutely. And so I'd like to know what yours are. 
maybe some challenges that you're having, some the challenges and the blessings and things that you've worked through and, and how you did it. And we would love to hear about it. So give this video a thumbs up if um, you found any encouragement in this. And I would love to have you as a, as a subscriber. So subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys in the comments. I love reading them. So, um, and I reply to all of them. So you guys have a great day. And I hope this all finds, I hope this video finds everybody well. And um, I will see you in the next one and hopefully in the comments. So thank you. Bye.